Well, I guess this is the uh, Instagram live live review starting now with our first ever zero view. But uh, we're, I'm going to do the, the review thing, and I'm going to... Kaylin, Kaylin's going to come on. We're going to talk about review if that works. going to get the technical difficulty to send the request. So while we're waiting here, the movie we decided to watch is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which Kaylin tells me has a movie, uh, an anniversary of this. Um, let me pause the live video. Okay, we're learning. We're finding out how a live Instagram video goes and works. Thanks, for, thanks Instagram. It says at the bottom of the screen that it's telling... Telling more followers to join. I mean, I have like 400 followers. I don't know who's gonna who's gonna actually watch this. Because Kaylin's unable to join. It's a good first. This is a good dry run. Chickadee, yeah. See, okay, this is the future right here, right? Like, look at this. This is this the most back. live that Instagram has ever been. Got to say. The livest. Look at these guys. Look the guys. Couple of guys hanging out. We're gonna talk some. We're gonna talk film. <laughs> and beards. And beards. We're both doing I the beard thing, eh? Forever. I just wanted to say what's up. And Sweet. And on that note. Yeah, man. Cheers. I did. I set it up, man. Look, check this out. See, see how it's all weird. I'm fucking using a. I'm using a selfie stick. Can you yeah. see that? Fuck. It like won't. Anyway, hanging out. I was playing some Avengers on the PlayStation Four. Yeah. Yo, have you um? You checked out Spider-Man VR game? Oh yeah. I'm well versed. It's dope. It, I mean, it's still like, like kind of like a kind of like demo and kind of thing, but it's fucking amazing. Yeah, ch- check. Whoa, you went upside down there. Check it out. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I uh, PS5. I have my um, I have a pre-order, but I got it through Shoppers of all places, and uh, it's going to be shipped <laughs> allegedly. Ship. What? Sorry, go ahead. No. So what were you saying? Oh, I'm, I got it pre-ordered to a Shoppers, and it's weird because it's not like a Best Buy. I didn't pay anything. I just got a confirmation code that my pre-order will be there on launch. So I guess we'll see if I actually get it. <laughs> I mean, it sounds dope. Uh, are, like, are they all the same price? For some reason, like, I, I don't know why, but I feel like Shopper would be more expensive because it's like, it's not whatever, right? But maybe, maybe I'm just making... No, no, no. They're, uh, it, it's the same price across the board. I know what you mean, though. It used to be like that. I it definitely used to be like that. Uh, but it's, they have like an electronic section that you've probably seen. And it, it yeah. usually seems like when they have like this, what's that, sorry? Behind the elect, their electronic behind the counter. Yeah. Well, the one by my place, it's like, it's, it's, oh, you have to get somebody to open the thing for you. But, uh, I know, yeah, you're talking about the one at Spring Garden, I think, because I bought a DS there <laughs> and it was much cheaper than buying it anywhere else. Cause they were just trying to get rid of it. Oh, and that's okay. the whole thing. Like, that's what I'm weirded out about because it might be a situation where they're just like, oh, yeah, we didn't get it. <laughs> Hopefully that. I mean, it's kind of weird. You either have to deposit or. Yes. Especially uh, a deposit. If you go to like uh, GameStop or whatever, they're usually like 10% of the thing. Um, and also Best Buy, if you were able to pre order it from there, you definitely fucking are able to uh, pay for it outright and then get it. But since it's just a variety store so this is basically a convenience store we'll see yeah. if i show up there show them my code it's a code from shoppers that i got an email a confirmation code from shoppers like, like, a code like symbol like no not a qr code but just like a series of numbers and letters oh, okay and then uh yeah that's a sweet pipe it's it's pretty dope when i first got it it was nice and now it's not nice. that was green it used to be like a really nice and kind of see. Oh yeah, I can kind of see the hue. Yeah. Yeah. It, you, like I've never. I don't really know how you. I'm. Um, do I look? Who cares about being a pipe? Oh shit, we got no, a you, look. you look stoned. What's up? Oh, James Lopian is here. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to show off my COVID hair too because you get. It looks like you got the same kind of hairstyle going on. Chad said. Yeah, you and me. You and uh, oh, you got rid of it. I'm greased oh. out though. I got I got a greasy I, I got a greasy view going on. Yeah, I love it. We're always loving. <laughs> you and me are always uh, <laughs> brothers. People are always talking about Netflix. Well, I'm talking about. Do I'll... girls know? Uh, do girls know what you want to do when you bring them into your bedroom and you show them a giant bookshelf of DVDs? Do they even know what DVDs are at this point? Uh, I don't. You know what? I don't think. Actually, funny story. <laughs> I my friends would make fun of me, but then they'd be like, "Hey, can I borrow you or whatever?" Fuck yourself, like. Go buy it or download. Do it. It's true. It I tried to borrow DVDs from you many times, and you're like, "Fuck off!" And I was like, "You can borrow mine." And you're like, "I don't want to." <laughs> I 
I've got my own DVDs, motherfucker, <laughs> which I watch. And, and, and come and over that, and watch them. Well, that's what I've, I've learned. Watch them. And, I, you know, what's the expression in it once or twice? But, like, I've let them out back in the day. And I've had, like, I'll have for, like, five years, whatever it is, right? And it's spotless. It's fine. I go lend yeah. it to someone for one night. And it comes back looking like this went through hell. Or whatever. do you think I've lent any of these games to anybody before? I don't think so. No. Hell no. Hell no. Check this out. Harry Houdini action figure. Do you see that? Uh, go back to it. Is it like a rubber one that bends? No. Nope. But it, like, I, I can't see it. The five point. No, it's like hilariously bad. Like a. Do a trick. It does come with this. I haven't opened it. You don't open action figures. Are you kidding me? The. Are you I insane? Mean, I, I am because I open my action just to put them. It's weird. Like, I put them back in, but, like, I open, touch them. That's interesting. I do the, I sort of do the same thing. Let's see, like, elite WWE figures. I mostly do that. Yeah, hey, did you see they... that the, into- did you see that the uh, Intoxicated podcast stopped in for a second? That's weird. That's, that's interesting. Weird. Anyway. Interesting. What were you saying? I, well, I remember the, I remember the wrestling, just, like, rubber, like, like just like shaped rubber that you could like fucking hit other rubber wrestlers. Yes, absolutely. Why is intoxicated sound from? Okay, you gotta see. It. Oh, nice. That, that's one of those rubber figures you're talking about right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some boys up here too. Yo, what's that battle damn Spider Man? Which one? Oh, never mind. He must shine. Yeah, it just shine. Hey man, I had that figure. It was dope. It was dope. Here's my uh, here's I have my stuff set up. It's mostly video games, so I, I the only DVDs I own are like right there. It's like mostly wrestling. The I mean, looking back, it's definitely that like I mean to have things digital or whatever is definitely a lot less waste. Um, and it's nice Netflix or whatever is kind of nice because like I don't have to get ever like it's just right there, right? So like yeah. that's just kind. of, At the same time, it is like in case that shit ever or whatever, like I can just throw on a movie and don't have to worry. I'm not sure if that made. No, that absolutely makes also, sense. I'm just. Is, is there a type? Is there a what? <laughs> <laughs> trying to is there a, is there a type should we use um choose um walkie talkie talk uh uh ten over? four over maybe okay. maybe to get the flow because uh pot like you should probably put head headphones on why what is, does that make it does that make me- it might make you hear a bit quicker uh what's your what's your connection like there oh uh mine <laughs> okay that's fine most of the time most of the time it seems okay Am I chopping out a little? Bit? Like a little bit, like a little bit. I apologize, uh, everyone. We have we have four viewers right now. This is insanity. I'm, I'm actually. Do they know <laughs> I'm here? Oh, that's gonna ask the title. They know. Oh yeah, I can do that. Also, before you joined, I said I said what this is. So if I post it as a video, people yeah. would be like, "Oh, they're gonna talk about a movie." Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's what it is. And actually, so in regards to remember. How you just um uh, like got into it or like heard about it or found out? About it? Uh, yes, my my pal Jared from back home uh, had me over on one, one fine you know Jared of course yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he had me over on one fine Saturday afternoon uh, and we watched it but I got super drunk like this is back in the day like think- this is what's happening no no sorry it was oh, okay so like this is like ten years ago now. And I didn't remember anything about it, really. I just remember that it was, like, pretty good. So t- today I watched it, this evening after work, and uh, basically it's amazing. I didn't remember anything about it. And it's fucking Robert Downey Jr. in this film it is a 10 out of 10. I couldn't believe it. He disappears into the Harry role so hard, I couldn't, I couldn't even, like, believe what I was witnessing. And then fucking Val Kilmer... It's right yeah. before he like. It's right before he became a like a washed up actor, and he's so good in it too. Yeah. I gotta say, he's. I don't think Val Kilmer is a gay man for the way that he like. Even though he's portraying a gay man, I don't think he should have been like saying things that he was saying. But I guess he was playing a role. It was a different time. This is two thousand and five, right? So yeah, I think it was two thousand five. Yeah. Yeah. So like basically, I I gotta rate this movie pretty good. I got it's. I had a really good. T- I had a really fun time watching it. It's um, fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. See, I think they, I don't know if I'm correct whatever, and I don't any way this uh or but uh Val Kilmer, fuck it, Gay Perry is uh Gay Perry. Think, yeah, you still gay? <laughs> 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 there's so many, there's, but he's like what uh, his and almost and oh yeah, definitely up there. And, what about the Rock in Southland Tales? 
That's a pretty uh, hilarious. Uh, which ones? No, I don't think I saw that one. Was the Rock in what's it called? Get uh, get uh, get two or get whatever. shorty. Yeah, get, get shortier. Something about eating electric a boogaloo. Was that that I one? I thought he played. I thought he played a game too in Southland Tales. I do remember the Get Short sequel where I, or I didn't see it, but bouncer I'm trying to get into the yeah. movies. Uh, I didn't see Southland. I don't know. So if that's uh, check it out. I'll tell you. you may also um, what's that movie with uh, Marky Wal Mark Wahlberg? Uh, where they're which, steroid addicts. Oh, <laughs> where they're juice maybe. heads. It's a Michael Bay movie where they're joint juice heads. That was actually an all right watch or whatever. Like, I wouldn't yeah, yeah, I agreed. For a fine little time or whatever. The what's his face Mackey and like the roids and like in or whatever it's called. Yeah, no, that's hilarious. Um, I'm gonna, I want to go into Kiss Kiss Bang Bang a little bit more. I actually took notes and I, so if you're the, if the one person that's watching us right now, is from my page. You probably are here because I review movies. <laughs> if you're the one, if you're one person here from Kalen's page, you're probably here because you like rap, uh, rap battles. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have equal notoriety for a different thing. I'm gonna vape. I'm gonna vape outside. Uh, it's 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 autumn here. If you're if the one person that's watching us right now, is actually watching. Us. Oh, yeah, but they're, if they're watching us from Africa, oh, okay. it's the dry season there, I think. It's been a nice little October. Yeah, it has Halifax. Uh, it's chill. Uh, it's good. Uh, you know, I just, uh, we're not very popular, so, like, that's why you can find or whatever, slash, like, whole bubble thing or whatever and shit. But, like, things are good. Things are different, sure. Um, but this is our back open again. Uh, I think general, like, half capacity, although that might, it might be, met, no. But, like, it's no, that makes sense. Like, like, no touching. <laughs> like, you know, you go and sit down, you stay there, and, like, no, like, uh, outside of your socializing as much. Like, you know, I'd be just talking to whoever back in the day, but now it's, like, just at your... Yeah, that's awesome. Toronto is vastly different. I still, what? it's, like, eight eight months in. I, like, haven't really left. We've gone to Brampton. I've gone to Brampton twice, where that would be a place I normally go to work, but I work from home. Um, I've gone to... We went camping in the summer, which was which was yeah. no. shady at best. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I haven't really been anywhere. There was there's been stretches of a month where I didn't leave my block because all I could do is get out and go for a walk because I don't want to go into the downtown sector. Bad it's anti-maskers down there. This is a pro-mask anti podcast. Yeah. They don't. Haven't they, you seen the the anti-mask well, protest no, in Halifax? I went. They're not masks. They're like. They're almost a turtle. It's like the neck of a. They're like little fabric. Uh, like a buff. buff. Yeah, and so I wear that when I go out. I just pull it up. Pull it. But like I don't have a, like I mean I don't know. If, I guess for some people if they have to wear it all day. Like but like to wear it. I don't give a fuck about. It. It's fine. Like Madison makes them. My wife makes them. masks or, or oh nice. My mom. My mom's been good one. That's dope. Hold on. There's more. I'm trying to see what that is. What is that from? Or is that just pattern? It looks like it's from. It's something. just pat. Yeah, it's just pattern. Yeah. That's and then dope. you fucking throw your hat on. You're good to go. You're good to go. Hi, guys. I'm going to go outside now. Uh, there's a horrible pandemic. I might die. Who knows? Let's yeah. the party. I'll, I'll mask. Mask it up. This is the this is the part of the movie review where we put our fucking masks on. Oh, we lost our last viewer. The person, the last person to leave was like, I'm a, I'm anti-mask. If they talk about masks, I'm out of here. But other than that, I'm hanging out. I was I was fine for the gibber this mask shit. But... <laughs> After. Yeah, I'm gonna post it along with my review for this movie. So maybe we'll talk with a little bit. <laughs> what? Sorry. Smoking a jewel or what? What kind of vape? Yeah, it's just a jewel because I'm a I'm a basic bitch. Is uh is this, uh tobacco? No, it's mint, which they've pretty much phased out. And I get the 1.5, so 1.5 percent because I I'm trying oh, to wean man, that's completely off. 1.5? No. Yeah, it goes up to five. There's five, what 3.5, and 1.5. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm thinking. It's not like. Yeah, it's not the fives. The fives are were too intense when I even quit smoking cigarettes, like for good, for good. I haven't had a cigarette in two years. That's Amazing. awesome. I, I've been stepping or whatever. Definitely helped take me off the when they had, but then once they stopped, I was like, okay, well, fuck that. Um, I have had a while, but I've been, for the most part, I'm actually pretty happy. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a real son of a bitch trying to quit smoking. It's tough. It's very tough. It's so it's so perfect to. So sad. I, I don't how I cross. I think. It oh was yes, that's what you asked me before we went on a horrible tangent. Okay, yes. Okay. It wasn't a horrible, but you know, it's there will be what are these oscillations or whatever, or what's it called uh, like cycle. Like an e yeah, cycle ebb and flow. But I don't remember how I came across it. It 
I think is something that I just saw. Like, cause I used to, I used to like, he was like down in Spring Garden. We were, remember you used to be on Brunswick, right? And uh, yep. I would go down there like weekends and shit. You know, sometimes I just fucking get like a bunch of like two for like whatever their two furs were, like they didn't shit. And like, that's a, like, I don't remember, like, basically, I don't remember hearing about it. It's like, I don't remember any, any kind of talk about it. I don't remember. I was like, actually after, like, I just, I found it on the, when I first came across it, never heard of it beforehand. I'm like, oh, that sounds like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. That's it. And it's fucking Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer. Like, okay, those guys are, I put it on, thrown away. It was a very fun ride, front to back. It kind of almost like, almost like sounded smart, like a smart yeah. But, like, it wasn't exactly smart. It's just, like, kind of almost or whatever. But, like, it had a, like, smart. Like, like okay, so the line where he's, like, uh, uh, Perry, like, Harry, uh, you know, uh, do you know what you'd find? He looked up idiot in the dictionary. And, you know, they, they do the what you would automatically think, oh, what you find. But then they turn it on you. No, a definite is what you are. <laughs> like, that's, like, little things like that that fucking I love. Well, what it reminded me of is, have you ever watched a... Uh, uh, a mumblecore film. Have you heard of the genre of film mumblecore? Mumblecore? No, I don't think I've heard of it. Uh, give me okay, an so let me just. So, you know, do you know who Mark Duplass is? He's from the League, but he's made a few like indie films here and there. It's all one. From- no, he's an army guy from the League. Mark du- here, I'll just show you a picture. Look at this. Look, it's the future. I can show you a picture of the picture, and you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, down a little bit. It half your. Oh, okay, that guy. Yeah. For okay. Okay. Something. Yeah, he did that. He did that indie film that was like uh, he was like a weirdo. And mumblecore is the idea that when you're writing, this is sort of how I interpret it too. I'm not a fucking expert on the subject, but it's when you're making a film and it's it's a style specific to the Duplass brothers. Him and his brother make these style movies, and they're indie films where people talk like normal. Like you know when you're with a friend and you're not like proclaiming. And I'll get to that about this film in a second, and in the sort of the difference between what I mean in a big Hollywood film. Yeah. Um, they talk to each other in these little like like uh, shorthand half phrases where kind of like you talk to your friend if you're standing next to each other where you kind of know what they're talking about. And that's yeah. what I love. That's what I loved about Val Kilmer and Robert Downey Jr. in this movie because they, they were able to talk to each other in this way that it seemed like they had known each other for a long time. They were able to understand what they were saying, to work off each other in this really amazing way. Like they're a comedy duo. So I turned to my wife. She, she was watching the end of it with me. She had, she's seen it before, but I was like, hey, do you know of any other films where fucking Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer are like a comedy duo? Because I want to watch all of them. I mean, I love Robert Downey Jr. I've been watching the fucking, I've always loved him anyway, but I've been watching the Marvel movies for the last 10 years. Yeah, He's yeah, been yeah. Tony Stark for 10 years. Yeah. Another thing I wanted but to mention about Robert Downey Jr. just before also, I continue. Stark, like they're damn like embodies Tony Stark. Yeah. But, anyway, but the thing is, is in, in this, he uses his Tony Stark voice, but a little bit more subdued. But the yeah. thing is, is if you've ever heard Robert Downey Jr. speak in real life, he has this weird, like, Connecticut, like, so you know, sort of inflection in his voice. And whenever he goes into film, he almost has to do, like, an American accent, which is really interesting. Right, right, right. right, right. Just, like, talk pattern. Yes. Also, <laughs> what would, what would, like, what? What you know, blockbuster will open. What sex is a comedy, or is it like it's a, paper? It's action. Action. It's action. Okay, so the action. the genres I kind of define it as are uh d- like dark comedy. Dark um, comedy. <clears throat> there's not a lot of drama in it, so it's but it's also got like it's like noir or like detective. Noir. Yeah. Okay. And and then like Hollywood, like a ho- movie that's about Hollywood. Right, right. So they you go. Know what they were saying about what were the comparisons. So you have the indie guy do an indie style conversation, Humble and then on, on the other time, on the other side, they do actually do those big like this is a this is a big blockbuster movie style line, like a, a piece of dialogue, like you were saying. And okay, okay. right, right. They've right. meshed these. They've meshed these together in this really interesting way, and. I don't like. I was trying to think. Like, did I even ever see a trailer for this movie? What would the trailer for this movie even look like? For Kiss Kiss, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was like. I don't or advertising or anything. I don't remember hearing or mouthing any. And you're right. What? How? What? Do you think of? I think I would show like Harry's character because it since it's based on a novel. I kind of saw the the writer of the novel sort of. It being a self-insert where 
he's talking about himself having all these things happen to him. You know, he like loses his finger. He fucking gets shot. Yeah. There's that end part. Sorry, spoilers. He, he gets oh, yeah. shot and then he pulls the book out, which is very Hollywood to be like, oh, the book saved the bullet. But and it, like, no, I got shot. <laughs> like, I love, yeah. that yeah. was me. Like, that was really good storytelling. Yeah. That's what I, yeah, and that's kind of like, it had smart, and it's, I think, what, like. Very truthful, yeah. Yeah, it's an honest to it. It calls itself out, almost. Or, or like, it calls out the tropes that, like, general will have. Those, those yeah. Tropes, it calls them out. Like you said, with the book. So, but, speaking of which, is this a Christmas movie? And I, that, that's exactly <laughs> what I, after I watched it, like, this time. This is a fucking Christmas movie, and it's up there with one of the best. Fucking Christmas is definitely yeah. Christmas. If Die Hard 1 and 2 and Home Alone are Christmas movies, this motherfucker is a Christmas movie. This is definitely. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that got me because I was watching it the other day. She was running around in the uh, elf dress or whatever it was. Yeah. I wrote her name down. Yeah. I didn't want to be okay. in it. It's somewhere. <laughs> she did a great job. She was fun. She uh, uninhibited with certain things, which was great. Very nice. And also, she was a very, she's a very natural actor. It's funny that she was playing... Okay, so these actors, or the, these people, are all our age. At one point, she's like, that person's washed up. They're never going to make it. I'm, she's 30, 35. And then in like the next scene, she's like, I'm 34. I'm still a baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I wrote that. She likes like, oh, you didn't cut it. You're gone, or you're washed up. And then he asked her, like, yeah, she's like a year younger. <laughs> but it's still optimistic. She's next. Her name is uh, Michelle Monaghan. That's the one. Did you did you do uh, did you search on this movie at all? No, I have a laptop right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Do you know who the uh, bear? No. Who, uh, okay, here. Think. Don't look it up yet, and I'll tell you if you okay. want. But think about it for a second, and kind of and guess. But the voice of the bear, he was the one. Uh, or even watch watch the. Watch I'll that put movie. the fish in my. I'll suck on the fish or whatever. Yeah. But what do I know? I'm a bear. I'll suck was it uh well that, that you just did a spot on impression of John C. Riley. So <laughs> it no, probably no. wasn't him. I'm trying to think. It's two thousand it's two thousand and five. Who's like a who's a character actor they can throw in as a voice uh, uh for a uh it, I, I was surprised, surprise it. Like it's like, okay, sure. But at the same time, like I, I would but I'm not too like I like movies a lot, but I'm Hey man, stupidity. <laughs> that cheers to that bro this act, this is fun we had a we had an all-time record on our show of four viewers i think we've had a gross of six or seven so i think for our first episode this is going swimmingly <laughs> i uh i'm a rabbit and they stumbled across a couple of <coughs> look out covid uh came across called uh from back in the, where were you the bottom of uh shabakto yeah the kanan shabakto fucking intersection oh my god yeah if you're if you're the one person watching that let me just click on it to see who it is oh no viewers okay uh yeah that's hilarious that i watch those from time to time and they get worse with time it feels like but i they're gonna come they're gonna come back around i do wish i do always say this like you facilitated that so thank you thank you for giving me that camera to do that i'm so glad that i ended up giving that back to you before i left halifax because it would be sitting in that fucking that fucking where is it this bookshelf right here collecting dust because the one that i ended up getting i've never used i used it for like that one video and i but my point is is i'm glad that we were able to do that in that time if i had to continue doing it maybe i'd uh, be successful maybe i'd have 300 videos with four views you know <laughs> <laughs> who knows you gotta you gotta you gotta like you gotta just keep yeah. doing it because there's something there right there's an energy spark there's a like a perfect form of it. You never get to a piece in that 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 big essence. It's the algorithm of the universe, but the thing is, is like the problem is, is you also have to pump money into it. My po- the Blossom Buddies podcast, we yeah put a little bit of money into it and got like nowhere. But if we pumped more money into it, we'd probably still get nowhere. But then at least more eyes would be on it. The whole it's crazy to be this low on the totem pole when you just want to create content for people, man. Yeah. I. It's very eye-opening. That's why I don't, like, I, when I made Jason's show back then, you know, I was like, who knows? This is a new platform. I can have my, yeah. fr- oh my God. We can have, like, I got my friends be on it and it'll be hilarious. But who knows? I was all fucked. All it wasted. Was it was awesome. A mental state. 
I got to be a part yeah. of some of it, and I loved it. Hey, man, I those videos are still fucking hilarious. Like, yeah. What What's the? Oh man, I get down. Some Some timers. I can't remember what it's it is. super beard time. You mean the super classic Jason time. Phillips super video? Beard. It's super time. beard time. Hey man, that's how I made all my. That's how I made all my YouTube money back back in the day. Yo, BP was fun. It was fun. That was, that was uh, fun. it was pot. I learned a lot of things. Learned a lot of things. That's true. That house that I lived in was a fucking nightmare, though. The yeah, because yeah, was, wasn't there someone else? Yeah, like my buddy Gord lived there for a minute, and then he left, and then Drew lived there for longer. But Drew, it was the last time you saw a Drew Rappaport. Wasn't uh, Drew the one from the army? Were like, no, maybe I don't know who was. <laughs> Was was Drew like a, a pothead? Like, oh, he was the biggest pothead in, in all existence. I'm, he I'm transcended pothead. space of yeah, I know, but like that he made that his career. We <laughs> just b- being stoned. Yeah, 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 yeah. But did the army? Or, like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, like maybe, I, but like you're in cadets when you're like fourteen or ten. What? I went to cadets. I was no Cub Scouts. No, it's not those things. It's you go into cadets when you go into the fucking navy, the air force. Or the Air Force. I, I actually, you're right. It is the Air Force. I went into Air Cadets myself. And the reason why, this has gotten off topic, but I love it. The reason why I quit <laughs> this time, everyone got uh, like a secret Santa bag. Uh, one person even got, t- and I got nothing. Did you ever do the Rockathon? What's that? Where you rocking a, you rocking a rock. I was in Cadets too for like a hot minute, like three months. And fucking, we had to... There was a night where they were like, we're going to rock and rock the chairs to raise money all night. And I didn't go. And I was like, fuck that. And then, you know, as as you do, you shirk your responsibilities. And then yeah. uh, dropped out of Air Cadets. And here I am now as a greasy hippie. A 100% more grease than hippie greasy. I'll high five that. <laughs> first ever, first ever yeah, uh, on the we, show, we, we, high we, five. We could be brother. Yeah. Fucking, what was just one time, no prior time zone? We could be brothers. Zone, high five. I'm gonna go get my glasses one second. Yeah, let's be 100% brothers. Except for you've had fucking your hair went gray when you were like 13. I don't understand. I want a gray mane like yours. <laughs> I burped oh, there. Is That's what I've just done. You want gray hair? Yes. It's I got like dope. a couple. If you look real close. See that? I saw it right there. You can, I can see it. You can see that. <laughs> I, uh, do you yourself play? Uh, that's all I do. I've actually quit my job. I've quit playing video games. All I do is fiddle around with my beard all the time. I've got this one good clump right here. I'm just like, yeah. yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the trend, uh, in one side, it's dope. I love it. I uh, I took, um, I had like a little elastic, 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 elastic did it all together. Elastic it did. Elastic kid. Exactly. The, also, I did, these are my notes. Also, these are the notes that I took. I was watching them. I, uh, I, I'm a nerd and watched it with the comment. And uh, it was a fun cooked around and stuff. Did you see the Tropic Thunder commentary? Or no, listen to that the- sounds incredible. Uh, it is incredible because the joke where um, he says he's not going to drop, where RGJ says he's not going to drop the, the uh, Colonel, whatever is his character, until the commentary, like talk their movie, and then in real life actually did it. So he, the guy, commentary hilarious that is interesting that at the beginning of the movie i actually made a note that was like hey man these little mini movies are pretty fun um <laughs> which is true i walked away from my screen so I, I can't remember any of my notes but uh you might have to carry this i will carry it for you the Thank you. i'm trying to what uh where, okay yes, what was so the final battle i think the like shootout and then the like after I'm watching this hybrid Hollywood indie film, I think that's what it is, right? Like they were like, let's make a film based on a book that's like got the. It looks like a Hollywood film. It starts out talking about Hollywood. It's this petty criminal was yeah. usually like, you know, I'm gonna do petty crimes in New York, and he wanders into a casting agent. I and love it. Nails it, it. it. Nails it. Right. Yeah. And that's the indie. That's the indie part of it. Where, but then he goes to L.A. So that's Hollywood and it's shot like Hollywood and New York is shot like an indie or you know it yeah. kind of looked like Spider-Man honestly it looked like uh, 2001 Spider-Man that being said then you go over to California he gets embroiled in this fucking ridiculous plot where he has to learn how to become a detective for a role by being a detective and then suddenly has to do detective shit but then Gay Perry's like oh yeah I'll see you didn't get the role but you're too deep now 
<laughs> You're too deep. We were just using you to bring down other guys. Who was it? Colin Farrell's? Yeah. I'm assuming, and I'm guessing that's probably something that happened. A little trickery. It happened, trickery. Pro- yeah. I think the television program Entourage is about that phenomenon in Hollywood. Ah, uh, so it, the, I mean, isn't it, I thought it was to be about American. Oh, well, I mean, literally, but there's a lot of times where it's like, we're using you to, because that the first, in the beginning, doesn't he go out to be Aquaman? And they're like, nah, we're just using you to jack up the price on somebody. And then he actually ends up getting to play Aquaman later. Which is a funny plot device because obviously, like the Jason Momoa. Have you seen Aquaman starring Jason Momoa? Oh, uh, I mean, I don't think. Oh my god, dude, watch that movie. You got, I know you got like a good TV and like a setup. It's, it's DC was like, oh shit, nobody likes our movies. Let's make a Marvel movie. The it looks like it's bad. It's not though. It's just like front to back, just blah, 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 colors, action, colors and action. Oh, I, I mean, so it's a visual spectacle. It's a visual spectacle, yes. I mean, that's fine. I'm like, other now, I like my to have a little, some, 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 some meat on the bone. Oh, same, and me too. But here's the problem, Kalen. I gotta tell you, I wasn't a movie guy until 2020. I wasn't a movie man until the year of our Lord, the 2020s. Until 2020? No, I was a TV guy. I've seen every television show. I've seen all the good, all the goodies. But yeah. this year, do you know how this came about? Did I ever tell you how this came about? Well, I was like, I'm going to review movies now. So in 2019, in 2019, I was like, I'm making a, I'm making a podcast. I'm going to do some internet shit. The next year, I'm going to post on Instagram um, all the movies I watch and try to watch more movies. Yeah. And all it started is, is I was just going to put a number next to the movie and not say anything. I, you know what I mean? And oh. then I was like, well, what if, what if I just say how I feel about the movie? Give it a rating. And uh, people were like commenting and, and stuff so i was like okay well i guess i do this now and uh, that's that's how it came about i i i pretty, i like i like to talk about ones that i haven't seen and uh so like a general idea you would think actually right now but there's like one or two where it's like oh shit i gotta check and have I'm you like, pardon and have you have you got have you sought out any films that i uh there's I was like i can't i'm trying to think i can't think too fucking high speaking of <laughs> how but, about uh, this oh, so when uh, uh, come visit? Yeah, of course. The funny thing is, is I can't even go to Halifax because if I go to Halifax, it would be a I would have to quarantine for two weeks. Uh, yeah. Anybody can come here and just be, you know. What? We're in. We're in. They don't make you. Yeah, quarantine? you don't have to. Uh, no, uh, no, dude. Uh, I live in the United States compared to Nova Scotia. Why don't court? What? That's that's what I say every day when I see some motherfuckers being like, "Well, I don't want to wear a mask." Like, okay, so the whole the whole thing, I don't, I don't know. There's aspects of it, it's like, you know, oh, that seems kind of incidental or whatever. Um, don't go, but, don't don't go there with that because this is a 100 percent pro science podcast television oh, no, show. No, I'm just, <laughs> but you know, the issue with like, okay, let's put it this way. Air on the side of let's say it is yes. all blown. well. Let's not nope. be fucking yeah. So you have a unique perspective, Kayla. You you fucking live in Halifax, where the population is already pretty low. But then everybody was like, "Yeah, I, I agree to wearing masks immediately." And also, the powers that be were like, "Nobody can come in here. Or, like, just everybody stay out." No, because if if you guys had been open, it was the summer. Halifax will be one of the worst like hotbeds for COVID nineteen. If all of if everybody was just allowed the, the the amount of people that are filtered through the harbor system of Nova Scotia of Halifax yeah. specifically the amount of people that would have come in would have just decimated would have decimated Halifax everybody there would just get the disease immediately yeah it would we be are insane so, like close in- <laughs> <laughs> COVID nineteen you got You're the like- V for the big V <laughs> uh- I'm gonna roll it. I'm going to roll a joint live on Instagram live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my, here's that, my rolling train. My that, wife made it for me. What, what's the, what's the, whatever. Like you're not allowed to think that's a, like, if I show my butt, do that. I don't think you're allowed to. Sh- good thing. It's only free, part of the, free the nipple. I, that's you know what, I have, what if you have zero? I know that about you. What if you have zero viewers though? Is Instagram one, watching us one, right now? One, one. You're the one or is that some? I, it's when I click on it, it says no viewers. See the number one though? I do, yes. Maybe I'm the one. It's possible. It is absolutely possible. 
because the people like can you see me looking at the people who have joined here can you yep. see what i'm doing i'm touching the screen okay well we've had let me see one two this is our total one two three four five six seven eight eight unique views eight different people yeah we came in here and noped the fuck out but the thing is is i'm down to do this whenever this is fun it's like we're hanging out like well it's like we're sitting across the bar from each other honestly right pretty much right like not being yeah don't do that to me it's covid's time <laughs> That's, oh well you know what you're right i've always wanted a glasses what up same. Oh. It, was, it was the same way you always wanted. yeah ever since i was a kid my mom had glasses she got them at like 21 and she was like are fuck these jumping? glasses and i was like those are a style choice i want to wear them yeah. and then when i turned i've had these for five years i think when i turned 30 i went blind they're actually that's not true they're a weak prescription i don't need to wear them all the time i just do because it's but uh, like i thought i heard wearing glasses also kind of adds like your eyes get or whatever like that that's, Am I allowed like, to that's what they say. Do we have an air to this? shit. Ah, oh, god dick. damn it. Several dicks. Cock and ass. I, I cunt. Heard cunt. Yeah. No, well, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, say whatever you want. It's Who cares? One of those nice words. It's like third fuck. It's such a, it's a very nice word. It just feels, it has a lot of... It's. Air it air has air. more weight than fuck. I'll tell you that. Am I on the ball? I'm on the ball deck. Yeah. Yeah, here. Okay. Here, no. Do that again. Do that again. And do you like your rolling a joint? Do you like your like rolling a joint? Try this out. <laughs> Let's uh, see that. Uh, uh, see who's some of your fingers that? are popping up too. That's Did awesome. Get? Did it work? Yeah. I just thank you, thank you. You live in a you live in a completely different fucking province. Like two or three over up? New Brunswick, Quebec, and then Quebec. Fucking Quebec, man. Big big province. Man, we're fucking brothers. This shit. I know. I combed my hair today, that's why I won't fucking do this shit. I was gonna wear a hat for this. In my head I was like, oh man, like three people are gonna watch it. I'm gonna fucking have to put a hat on. Everybody's gonna be my bald. But there actually right now it looks like I looks like I got a fucking wig on, to be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to I'm starting it myself. How old are you now? You're thirty three? Thirty four? I'm good what's today? I'm gonna be four next Sunday. That's fucking dope. Did you pre order a PlayStation five for your birthday? Does it come out on the first? No, comes out on the 12th. And also, it's impossible to do it. If your question is, does it come out on this particular day? No, you can't get it. You're done in this town. <laughs> the, well, uh, I mean, I probably won't buy it until after. That's understandable. A lot of people are doing that. I want it right away. It's the first time in my life that I can actually do it. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Like, I, I started off this show. I didn't catch that last part. Oh, I said, uh, happens i said we'll see what uh, I'll, I'll watch it back <laughs> oh, yeah. am i cutting out right now yeah a little bit but that's like how's this let's put the phone up to the internet am i cutting out okay am i am i no cut... you're you're actually you're actually perfect right now that's funny um yeah i don't know uh, oh yeah do you roll filter yeah and also the amount of time that i just smoked is the amount of time that i usually just blaze I usually just take a couple tokes and put put the joint down and then come back later I do, I, yeah. but like when I'm literally like, you know, my life. This just have you, ever had, have you ever had Michelob Ultra? <coughs> I have. It's pretty smooth. It's smooth and it's only 4% and it's only 120 calories. Oh shit, 28 seconds remaining. Are they kicking us Instagram live? Oh, uh, you're for like so long. How long has it been? Probably, yeah.